Why are the deserts so hot? A desert is a region that receives less than 10 inches of rain per year. By day, deserts may be baking hot, but at night they can be freezing cold. The average temperatures range from 100 Fahrenheit during the day to 25 Fahrenheit during the night. Many deserts were formed 8,000 to 10,000 years ago. The original meaning of the world desert is an abandoned place. But there are about 1 billion people living in the desert regions of our Earth. The largest desert cities are Cairo in Egypt and Lima in Peru. When you think of a desert, you probably think of huge dry area with very little plants, a couple of camels thrown in and miles and miles of sand. Are you ready for this? There is a desert at the North Pole called the Arctic Desert and the world's largest desert is at the South Pole called Antarctica. There are three main types of desert. Hot deserts, cold deserts and coastal deserts. They all have things in common, including very little rainfall, few animals, and plant and strong winds. Desert plants and animals have features that help them survive in the dry climate. Some plants have special roots that help them absorb the small amount of water that is available. Cacti and yuccas are common desert plants. Desert animals include camels, gazelles, snakes, lizards, and small rodents. Deserts cover about 20% of Earth's land surface. The Sahara is the world's largest hot desert. It is also the hottest of all the deserts on our planet. Other hot deserts include Arabian Desert, Tar Desert, Great Sandy Desert and Chihuahua Desert. Cold deserts, also called polar regions, are Antarctica Desert, the largest desert in the world, Arctic Desert, North America Arctic, Greenland and Russian Arctic. Coastal deserts are found on coast, where the land meets the ocean. Two known deserts are Namib Desert and Atacama Desert. So why are the deserts so hot? Deserts are famous for having the hottest temperatures on Earth. They are hot primarily because of a lack of water. When the sun shines on the ground, all of the absorbed sunlight goes into raising the ground's temperature. If there was moisture in the soil, much of this heat would go into evaporation of some of the water. In most places, clouds and water vapor hold in heat, sort of like a blanket. But deserts don't have enough clouds and water vapor to do this. With a relative lack in moisture, there is a less evaporation. Evaporation helps in cooling the ground. With no evaporative cooling and a relative lack of vegetation to use the sunlight, most of all the sunlight goes into warming the ground surface. This causes very hot afternoon temperatures. Oh, hot, 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 hot! Hot, 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 hot!